Now on WSAR's Breakfast Club, it's the Bristol Community College Update. A monthly visit with President Laura Douglas on 1480 WSAR and 95.9 FM. Sponsored by Bristol Community College. Dreams within reach. Visit bristolcc.edu. And good morning, good morning. As I said earlier, we're joined this morning by the Bristol Community College's Director of Financial Aid Counseling, Ms. Elena Marcotte. Good morning, Elena. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me this morning. Oh, so glad that you're here. So you are the Director of Financial Aid Counseling, which means that you get to meet with students as they're trying to navigate through the process of paying for their Bristol Community College um, education. So why don't you tell us a little bit uh, about the free application for the uh, Federal Student Aid or FAFSA and why it's so important that the students and their families complete this FAFSA each year. Absolutely. So the FAFSA form is the Department of Education's application that each school requires students to complete. And what it does is it it allows us to determine uh, federal and state and a lot of times institutional funding for students based on each individual family's uh, needs and household information. Um, And that's something that obviously can change on a year-to-year basis as well as funding changes on a year-to-year basis. So we always require students to fill it out each year. It's free. It's easy, although a lot of people will say they don't feel it's easy, but we're here to help. So um, it's very important because it's what allows us to get students the uh, much-needed aid to be able to come to school. Great. And uh, there's been some recent changes and extensions. What's that all about? Yeah, so the Department of Education is actually overhauling the FAFSA application to make it a more streamlined process, make it more user-friendly, and also uh, make changes to how they're determining the eligibility for federal Pell Grants and other aid. They're looking to expand it to make it more equitable for students and families um, and really basing it a lot on the the poverty lines of each uh, demographic area to make it so that we're covering and assisting more families for for federal and state aid. Um, And now due to these changes, because it's such a large overhaul, they've actually uh, extended the application date opening to December 31st of this year for the next fall FAFSA application that we'd be using. So typically it comes out in October, but they had to push it back to the end of December to be able to implement all of these uh, wonderful changes that they're making. Have you experienced um, a, a higher an increase in students reaching out to? In other words, do the kids know about this? Do students know about this? And they do. Yeah. Um, you know, we've put out a lot of messaging from our area as well, and I know the Department of Education's put out a lot of messaging as well. Um, returning students specifically, you know, they're kind of aware of that October first deadline, so they've reached out. But for new families, we have been reaching out to our local high school partners and putting information up on our website and um, social media accounts just to kind of try to get everybody prepared for that delay. Um, But, you know, in talking with you, hopefully anyone that's listening also now knows that (laughs) that there's an extension. Yes, absolutely. Now, uh, before we let you go, just tell us, how can Bristol Community College support students and their families to complete these FAFSA? Well, we love supporting families. So I have a excellent staff um, at Bristol Community College of Financial Aid Professionals, one at uh, each campus location, so Taunton, Attleboro, New Bedford, a couple at Fall River. Um, and we take appointments all day long, every day, to assist families in, in just that, in completing FAFSA, financial aid questions. We do in-person, virtual phone appointments. Um, and we also do some events partnered with our uh, admissions and college partners for college nights, um, open houses, where we're there to assist with completing the FAFSA. So anyone that feels intimidated by that application, please don't, because we are here to help. Do you have folks who can help with the second um, English second language speakers? We do. Yes, we do. Um, and, you know, so there's somebody in our office that's fluent in Spanish, but if there's other languages, I know that there's a heavy uh, Portuguese population. Uh, we actually do have a, a financial aid counselor that can do um, Creole, but we also have partners throughout the college that will assist with um, 
interpreting if needed. Fabulous. Elena, thank you so, so much for calling in this morning. I hope you and everyone over at Bristol Community College has a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful Christmas season. Thank you. You as well. And I really appreciate your time this morning. Fantastic. We'll talk again soon, okay? Thanks. Have a great day. You too. Bye-bye, Elena. There we go. There she goes. All right. So there you go. If you have a student that's a senior in high school or you have a student that maybe wanted to take a year off from high school and it's time to get back in the saddle, go to Bristol Community College, give their um, financial aid office a call, and they will walk you through all the steps that you need to fill out that those uh, forms. I'm they, getting there. I almost got a senior in high school. Yeah, they could be. it can be intimidating, but not if you have help.